Hello and welcome. So you have a video and you want to add a simple minimal intro to it. Let's drag in the video. We're going to enable the timeline and drag the video to the timeline. We're going to zoom out a little with control mouse wheel. And now to make the intro actually work, we're going to add a new empty clip. First, we're going to add an intro on this black space before the video. For this, let's go to file. Open other and here go to generator color and press the color button. In this pop up, let's select black color and also an alpha channel of zero. This means that it will be transparent. Let's press OK and press OK again. And now we're gonna drag this black clip from the source view to the timeline and zoom out again. We're gonna click here and press S or this button to split the clip and we can right click and remove the part we don't want. Zoom in a bit. We can also resize it by the edge. And let's just drag it in front of the video. I'm gonna zoom in again. I think, let's see, five, six, yeah, six seconds and a little should be fine. Let's remove this empty space. And now we can start adding text to it. I'm just going to save this project. And now let's enable the filters. I'm going to also go to view and show toolbar and view show title bar so we have more space to look at this thing. Now just let's make sure that the empty clip is selected. And we're going to press the plus. Go to the video filters, scroll down since this is in a alphabetical list and pick the text filter. Here we can write whatever intro text we want. For example, minimal tux. We can drag the text along these corners or rather the area in which it is drawn. We can center it vertically also. And this might be actually better. I'm just going to reset this to the original size of the video and reset the position. And instead of doing the manual positioning, I'm going to add some padding. I guess 99 is a max value. 100. All right, never mind the padding. Instead, we're going to add another filter. We're going to add the rotate filter. Let's just scroll down. Here it is and use scale. Yep, this is much easier. Back to text, we can, of course, change the font. Let's click on the font name. What nice font do we find here? Let's go for this. We can switch the type. I think normal is just fine. And OK. So now if we play back the video, all we see is just text and then at some point the video starts. Not so great. What we want is a little animation. And thanks to the new features in Shotcut 18.5, we can actually do that super easily. So let's go back to the filters and again add one. And we're going to scroll down to the size and position filter. And now we're going to have to enable keyframes over here in view. And we're going to enable show title bars again. So we can drag the keyframes to the area left of the timeline. So we have two timelines, so to speak. And let's just hide the title bars again so we have more space. And now we have uh, these dots we can click and drag. So let's drag this one for, I think, one second is fine. And the same with this one. Come on now. There we go. And so far no change. What we have to do is we have to go to the first frame of this and set this to minus 1920. If we want it to move from the left to the center. And at the end, let's just spice it up. Let's move it from center to bottom. Uh, 1080 is going to be the number here. This depends on the size of the frame. And it goes away. And then the video starts. So that's it for a super simple intro. You can of course add music to it. For this, all you need to do is press this button and add an audio track. And just drag in the music you want to use to the source view. And then from there to the audio track.
and then just make sure to cut off the music whenever needed. And you might also want to add a fade out, an audio filter, fade out audio. Let's check this out. Much better. But what we also can do is we can add this intro on top of a video in case there's some, well, not so interesting stuff going on in the beginning. You can spice it up a little. For this, we're going to add a new video track. So press this button again and press add a video track. Drag this one to the top and drag the video below it. Let's check it out now. All right, so uh, two things. The noise of the original video is annoying. We can mute that or lower it. And in this case, the font is really not optimized for this kind of situation where there is video going on behind it. But that's an issue of a font. We can just, well, solve it by picking a different font. Let's go with this. We can also change the color if we want. And add an outline if we want. Let's see how this works. Yeah, not so sure. Okay, this is actually not so bad. Let's check it out. Once we fix the audio, for which we're gonna jump to this and cut the video clip with S. And now we're just gonna add the audio filter, gain slash volume. Here it is. And let's reduce this by maybe, ah, uh, let's say 6, 15, 12, and test it. The noise has been reduced. It's just the music that's very loud. Let's reduce the music also a little. Uh, gain slash volume over here, minus uh, six. And here we go. The preview might be laggy, but it will work properly in the rendered version. So there we have it. And of course this animation can be changed if we click on the empty clip and Let's see, click on the size and position filter and then click to the end. Here we go. We can just reset this back to zero and set, come on now, set this to 192, uh, I mean 1920. Okay, let's play this back. Goes in. And goes out. So this is how easy it is, thanks to the new keyframing feature. In the past, you had to handle some source code in JavaScript for this. Uh, it still looks better with the JavaScript stuff because it's eased in and out, but this is much easier to do. So here you have two solutions. As I said, you can have this without the background as well, of course. And if you have issues with the background color being not black, when doing the file open other and then color and pressing the color button again make sure that the alpha value is zero that is all i hope this helped please subscribe to support this channel give this video a like if it was useful and hope to see you next time until then ciao